Hey, how's everybody doing? Welcome back to Ass Hat Podcast here on YouTube. Now, I did quite a few, well, who knows when this is going up, a while back, earlier in 2021, a little bit on uh, Chinese comics, Manhua. And what I didn't realize is that I'd read Manhua before. Didn't know it was Manhua, I just thought it was manga, you know. Didn't even think China would have their own comics if we call something besides manga. Well, cartoon, Cartoonist Cafe did a video on uh, Jade Man. Which is what I'd read. I read one issue of, like a sampler. So I went online, went to my my comic shop, and you can see them, my comic shop in there. I'm gonna order some Jade Man. So if I found out they did this four issue series, oh shit, this four issue series called Jade Man Opens the Gates of Night. And this is a horror manhwa anthology. And this was two fifty back in that. I paid a little more than that. And what it is is bleak, silent lanes for miles around, nothing, no one. I started but could not finish. This was printed January 91. This is after I could not find J-Man stuff anyway. You got this, the doll. And look at this really nicely done black and white artwork. And it's just little horror stuff. Fairly well done. Actually, I want all four issues. But the first one is like a little expensive. You know, like 10 bucks, which, you know, I'm going to cheat it. The Marriage, the next story. I like how they combine you. Multimedia got drawn. That's, a, that's obviously a painting. And someone's photographs, you know, they combined a lot of stuff into this. The Matchmaker. It's really cool stuff. I love this. I'm really getting into this. I've got that is J Man Kung Fu Special. I've got an issue of the Forbidden Kingdom, and I have this. So it's only Manwa I have right now. I want to get more. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, hold on, baby. Hold on. And as you see, you know, just well done horror con. And I love horror. I'm a horror nut. I'm a comic nut. And Asian horror, pretty good destiny. And look at that. Look at that just gorgeous artwork. And these, I mean, some of these, and like, you won't see that in comics now. You don't see smoking in comics. But, you know, this is, you know, older comics. And I don't know what time frame these were actually written. I just know when they came out here in the States. They're like. Try to octant mirror voodoo signs to safeguard their homes against invasion of evil ghosts and goblins. Some people in China hang things that evil forces don't like in their doors and windows. Octagon shapes, eight diagrams, forks and pans with blackened fire, blackened bombs. All signs warn spooks stay out. And this is one of those things I don't know how much of this stuff is over here in the States. Like Jade Man, and there was another company that did a little bit, but I don't think any of this has come out in years and years now. And I love. To sit down and get like a full run of one of these things. Like this one, I'd love to have them. Look at that, man. Looks like Uncle Ben and Aunt Baru. Uncle Owen and Aunt Baru from Star Wars, New Hope. Yeah, really cool stuff. And I'm, I like finding out, reading comics from other countries because, you know, the differences. And there's all the, look at that first cover, man. And there's the second one. 68 pages, black and white, suggested for mature readers. And there's one a month. That, you know, 68 pages for the price was not bad. And that was the end of it right there. But I, anybody out there watch, if you know of any company that is putting out manhwa in the States and English, and let me know. I want more of this. I really do. I'm going to end up getting the rest of the issues of this. I want to get some more of the Jade Man stuff. And I think that company, it's like called the Forbidden Kings issue. I think that's Eastern Comics, but I don't think they put out a lot. And their stuff is a little bit cheaper. The... The Jade Man stuff that I have, it's cult, in color. And what it was, I think I told a story in there. A buddy of mine, good friend of mine, Russell Dearman, we were in junior high. And he comes and he's like, man, I found this really cool comedy where it's like Monday morning school. And I went to the mall this weekend and Walden's supposed to find this really cool like kung fu comedy. shows me, I'm like, holy shit, that's badass. So I got my mother later on that week to drive me to Go Shades to, hell, three towns, because I didn't even live in Mall's Point. It's you know, a 20-minute drive. Uh, go shake, go to Wall so I get this comic, and it was like the first issue of the first, and you know, first little story from like four different series, plus a poster in the middle of the owner of the company with a Ferrari. And I told the story before, but I'll tell it again. I the next is like day after I got it, or next time they say at school. Next time I was at school, because I might have got it on the weekend. I don't remember. I'm sitting in study hall, and I never had homework during the study hall because study hall was like my third class today. I'm sitting there, and I'm reading the comic, and this guy behind me who I don't remember his name now, he played football. 
Oh, man. Can I see that? Yeah. Oh, but what do you want for this poster? And I don't remember. I want to say I told him three bucks, which is about what the comic cost me. So he gave me three bucks because he wanted the poster. And he pointed out on the poster, there's like blood on the wall. Man, well, I, I thank you, Cartoons Cafe, for letting me know about this shit. Because I forgot. I completely forgot. And like I said, I thought the shit was just, you know, I remember Jade Man. I remember the Kung Fu special. I thought it was just Japanese comics. Because I remember thinking, you know, this is some of the earliest manga I ever read. Because before that, I read, like, My Psychic Girl. Uh, was it Area 88? You know, a few little things, like, from Eclipse and stuff, or early Viz stuff. But I didn't really get into anime and manga until I was in high school. Which was early 90s when the shit was not easy to find. The comics, some comic shops are carrying. The videos, you know, they were expensive. And if you were like me and did not want the dub shit, you want to subtitles, it cost even more. And nowadays, you know, I said, I probably paid three or four bucks for this. Matter of fact, you know, I'm going to go look real quick. I'm going to go look real quick and see how much this would be. Doobie doobie dee. Let's go to my comic shop. Which I haven't done an order with that this month. I need to. What is the title of that book? The Gate of the Night. I love my comic shop. Here we go, J-Man. Oh, they're out completely. I must have bought the last copy. There's four issues. What's the Jade Man collection? What is the Jade Man collection? Let's go see. It is... Not badly priced, but they don't tell me what's in it. There's only two issues and it'd be seven bucks for the two. But just odd, odd, like English comics, you know, from, oh, yeah. comics from the UK, British, and you know that kind of stuff. Comics, I've gotten into them, like you know, 2000 AD and Commando. That's what I like about comics from outside the US and Canada is that there's a lot of non-superhero stuff, and I've gotten you know kind of burnt out on the superhero stuff. I call it cape shit because you know it's just. They become our song, and the sad thing is that nowadays, a lot of your comic people writing comics, all they've read is comics. So they're just recycling stuff they read before. That was the great thing to me. And I'll be honest, you know, there's not a lot of gold date stuff I care for that much. To me, comics really hit their peak. They peaked with the EC stuff. That was the first big stuff that was to me was really good. And then it kind of went down again and then in the 60s. When Marvel and DC did the Silver Age revamps, it kind of helped. And those writers back then, they read books and they read all kinds of They were pulling from many, many different areas. Whereas nowadays, you know, you, you see interviews with a lot of comic writers, all they read is comics. That's why a lot of times some of the better writers are the ones that aren't even comic fans. I hope you enjoyed that. Remember, if you did, give me that thumbs up. Leave a comment. Or comment, you know, tell me about some you know, non English horror anthologies you know horror is a universal thing so i'm sure you're like you know indian comics or australian comics or you know I'm sure there's comics in africa and you know I'm sure there's russian comics you know and all this you know put some horror stuff in there i'd love to see it i'm out everybody y'all have fun